Hello students. Today we are going to discuss about the Maxwell third equation. Maxwell third equation is basically uh, how to link the magnetic field and the electromotive force. Okay. Uh, basically, when there is a change in the magnetic field, there is a development of the EMF, right? And it is basically linked with the Faraday law of electromagnetic induction. So, first of all, I am going to correlate with the Faraday law of electromagnetic induction. Let us see. What is the Faraday law of electromagnetic induction? Uh, as uh, you can uh, see from the definition that, that whenever there is a change in the magnetic flux, there is a production of the EMF. What is this? If we try to understand this uh, coil and the magnet arrangement, uh, here we are having the coil and here we are having the magnet. The magnet flux is basically linked with the coil. And when there is a change in the flux of the uh, that magnet, there will be a EMF induced in the coil. Right? We uh, understand this process with the help of a simulation. Okay? So let us have a simulation. Here the students are able to see that uh, there is a coil, the magnet, and this is the turbine arrangement through which we are going to see that how there will be a production of the EMF. Right? First of all, we simply increase a uh, little bit of this uh, uh, water flow and as we are able to see that the magnets start rotating. As the magnets start rotating, we are able to see there is a EMF, production of the EMF. Okay? If we little bit further increase the movement of the uh, that magnet, right? more EMF is coming. Why the more EMF is coming? Because the magnetic field linked with this coil is continuously changing. So as the magnetic field linked with the coil is changing, there is a production of the EMF. It is the simpler arrangement that you might have studied in the high school days about uh, uh, that uh, how the turbine works. So it is simply the turbine arrangement. The water is flowing on the turbine system. It is approximately working at the 37 uh, RPM. And when the magnet is moving, that magnetic field is continuously changing on the surface of the coil and the EMF is coming. Right? Here one more thing we need to understand about this discussion. That, uh, that that we also called as a Faraday law of uh, second Faraday law of electromagnetic induction. If we further increase the uh, flow of the water, more will be the EMF that is being induced. So two things are there. First thing, when there is a change in the EMF, the uh, when there is a change in the magnetic field, the EMF is induced. Second thing, that whenever the rate of change of uh, that magnetic flux is directly proportional to the induced EMF. That means I mean to say more will be the change in the magnetic flux, more will be the EMF. Right? So as you are now aware about the Faraday law of electromagnetic induction very clearly, now let us brief on the Maxwell third equation. Okay? So here the students are able to see that uh, as per uh, the discussion about the Faraday law, that the rate of change of magnetic flux is equal to the induced EMF. Curly phi b by curly t is basically indicating that uh, what is the change in the flux, right? Phi b, which can be written mathematically as b dot ds, uh, where b is the magnetic field and uh, dot ds is representing the surface area, right? So how much magnetic field is changing on a particular surface area that is basically linked with the, the EMF, e dot dy. Now on rearrangement, we simply fill the value of uh, magnetic flux in the equation and this expression can be rearranged as uh, line and tackle of the electric field E dot dl minus curly by curly t V dot ds where this is the surface and integral of the magnetic field. Next slide. So when we move further, here the students are able to see that on the left hand side we are having the line and tackle and on the right hand side we are getting the surface and tackle. We can solve this problem by the help of the Stokes theorem. Let us see the Stokes theorem, what the Stokes theorem uh, basically gives us. So first of all, I am going to explain you about the Stokes theorem. Just see the Stokes theorem. What the Stokes theorem is exactly about, that if the line integral is being given to you about some function, you can convert this line integral into the surface integral by simply writing as curl of A. So function is written as A dot dl, which is uh, the line integral, and the same function can be written as curl of A in the surface integral. So this is the simply, uh, we are converting the surface integral to the line integral or line to surface. Okay. So now we are having the direct linkage between the uh, line integral and the surface integral. Let us back to the slide 73. So while using the same stock simulation over here, we can 
convert this line integral into the surface integral and this equation has been modified from line to surface by following the Stokes theorem curl of curl of e is equal to curly b by curly t dot ds when we rearrange the surface integrals on both sides because this side and this side is having the same surface integral that will be uh, ignored uh, we are finally coming with the equation that is curl of e is equal to minus db by dt which is the maxwell third equation what it signifies that means the earlier uh, as you know in the physics of the high school you are separately treating electric and magnetic field but here we are not separately treating the electric and magnetic field in the maxwell equations what we understood that it is unifying the the uh, electric and magnetic field the changing magnetic field is at the source of electric field okay so in this equation by what we mainly basically learn in this equation that the changing magnetic field as a source of electric field right we did not uh, separately treat the uh, electric and magnetic field they are unified one is because of other so e is because of b okay so in the coming equation the students will also learn about that b is also because of e, okay that equation will be on the curl of b that you can see in the coming lecture okay thanks a lot